Do you want to sell the rooms at the right time and the correct prices to maximize the revenue? Our yield management feature will be your best friend. Let's log into Easy Reservation. Yield management helps you to maximize the revenue per available room by selling rooms at the right price and at the right time. Let's see how yield management works in context of Easy Reservation. To set up yield management, go to the marketing tab and click on yield tab. To manage yield, it's necessary to create yield slabs. This can be achieved from the tab occupancy slab. The purpose of this option is to bifurcate the occupants in different slabs on the basis of which the rates will be decided. Number of slabs can vary from property to property. For the purpose of this demo, we will make four slabs. The first one is from 0 to 25, 26 to 50, 51 to 75 and 76 to 100 percent. Once the occupancy slabs are created, we need to map the slabs. For that we go to slab mapping. This will show you the disabled and enabled rate plans on yield management and will also help you to enable yield management on rate plans. Select the source as web. Yield disabled rate plan box will show you the names of all the rate plans for which yield is not active and yield enable rate plan box will show you the name of all the rate plans for which yield is active. Yield management can be activated on special seasons. For the purpose of this video we have already created one season. Enter the name of the season, select the date range and also select the days on which you want to apply the yield. Now we will see how to manage the yield. On the basis of the occupancy slab created, you can define the rates for the base adult and base child along with the extra adult and extra child. Let's go through each option. Select the source as web to update the rates on the basis of yield. Select the rate plan for which the yield rates needs to be applied. In occupancy slab option, rates will be defined on the basis of the slabs created. From and to tab will have the endpoints of the slab in percentage. The base here you can modify the formula for setting appropriate base rates for adult and child. Extra adult allows you to define rates for extra adults. Extra child allows you to define rates for extra child. The effect here will be able to predefine the conditions by which the system will automatically add or multiply the base rates. Factor will be the number by which the addition or subtraction will take place on the base rates. For example, if the base rate is 1000, the effect is add and if the factor is 100, then in this case the rates on the web will appear as 1100. Likewise, if you want to decrease the rates on the basis of occupancy, you can predefine the percentage value by which the system will automatically deduct from the base rates. Then comes I want to update. There are two options in here. Specific date range. Here you can update the rates for specified dates. And then there is this option for season. The rates can be applied on specific season created in yield season. After that it's the apply days option. If the rates should be applied only to specific days, only then this option can be used. On the basis of the set yields, you will get the yield report from the yield report option. Under yield report, there are two tabs. The first is yield definition. This will show the yield rate set for different rate plans. The second tab is for yield rate projection. This will show the occupancy of the rate types in percentage and the rates are derived as per the formula set in occupancy slab. Hope our tutorial video was informative and helpful. For more videos visit our YouTube channel or you can also log on to our website which is www.easyreservation.com. We thank you for your time.